Hey guys, how are we doing today? What I wanted to do is take a couple minutes and show you the rods that I like for fly fishing for carp and other fish on North Texas lakes. No matter where you are, uh, those, these choices can vary in weight. But my first choice in my rod, the rod I keep on hand all the time, is the uh, Sage Bolt. It's not, a, it's not a cheap rod but it has a very light weight it's a six weight and uh, I, I have a, a lamps and light speed on this old reel reels aren't as important to me as the rods and this rod um, does everything i need for carp and allows me to fish all day because of the light weight it has a, uh, a really good backbone it's considered a, a fast action rod by sage so this is the sage bolt and the rod i like a lot the other rod I have on the boat at all times, and this one has a lot of different purposes. This is a TFO BVK in a, in a seven weight. <clears throat> it's just got an old Orvis reel on it. And I have about three reels for this rod. I'm uh, floating, well actually I have one reel and three spools. One is an intermediate line, one is a typical saltwater floating line. Um, and then this is the full sinker right here. Really love this line. And so I can get down deep when I'm actually prospecting for um, bass in deep water when they go off the flats when it's hot like it is now. So that's what uh, I do with the BBK. The reason I like it, if, you're, if you have a, a really smooth casting stroke or you're casting weighted lines or casting um, <clears throat> poppers and things like that, the smooth, the smooth action of the uh, BVK is a, is a very good choice. Seven weight, and it, the seven, six typically on the, on the uh, even on the bolt, has trouble turning a bass over three pounds. So you really are, you know, overmatched if you get a hold of a big bass on a six weight bolt. But a seven weight and the BVK will do the trick. Of course, I, I can use that for carp, and my clients will use that for carp too. What I do is... I just basically figure out, once I've seen them cast, what kind of cast they have. It's a, if it's a smooth and fluid cast, still you gotta, you gotta speed up and stop at the end and the beginning, but anyway, if it's a, it's a pretty smooth, what I would call a smooth cast, the BVK is what I'd recommend for them. That's that rod. Now here's the other rod I go to when I'm prospecting a lot. And up until the time I got the bolt, the, uh, this uh, TFO, um, <coughs> mangrove was my favorite rod, but it started to get a little heavy and I went ahead and put a saltwater reel on it and I made it even heavier. But uh, this is a great rod and reel combination. I've got the, uh, the hatch on here. I really love this reel. This is a hatch seven and it's got a super, uh, it's got a super good line on it. It's a cold water line, cold water salt line. And that thing really does, stay limp it's probably it might even be too limp for 90 degree days like we have now but the water's still kind of cool so it's okay this is a good rod for big flies big fish and when, I don't know when I say a prospect with it and what I mean is is that if I'm just trying to catch fish real quick see if the flies working and things like that and going out and doing all this research like I do um, this is a rod that I want to go fast with and, and don't don't cast all day with but just testing out what works and things like that so those are the three rods I really like. Um, there's no rules on this when it comes to rods, except, you know, I like fast and I like to be able to really cast in close from 15 feet. And our, our, probably our limit, even on that skip, is probably 40, 50 feet. So it's really um, up to you as far as what you use to, uh, to go after these fish. But for me, those are the three rods that get me through all basically all season. Have a great day. I'm going to go ahead and turn one of these cameras off. I've got two cameras going. I'm going to try to keep this 360 going and we're going to go look around and see, uh, see exactly what's going on in the uh, habitat here on Father's Day. Hope you guys had a great Father's Day and we'll talk to you soon. Let's go take a look.